All right, so this is for anybody that is ordering material for their company or for themselves. If you're starting a business or if you have a bunch of blueprints in front of you and half of you are using post-it notes or some random sheet that you keep having to change, this is something I've developed over the last probably four years, and I am loving the system. So we're going to start with the main sheet, but there are different calculators that I'm going to get to when it comes to ordering material. So I have a lathe calculator for ordering lathe production. I have a square part calculator. But this is the main sheet, which is what the receptionist or whoever is, uh, whomever, I don't know English, I'm a machinist. So whoever orders the material, this is what they're going to use. So I'm just going to throw my, what I do out there. This is not necessarily something that you're going to use. This is something I love and I use. So... If you want to make a change to it, by all means make a change. I do have this downloadable in the link below. It might link to the website, which is free, but it's like when you click it, it takes you to the page, you hit it, and then it's asking you, do you want to download the copy of this sheet? And I have other sheets available as well for a bunch of different things. So, let's get started. I will try to slow down enough to go over it. We'll start at the very top left, job number. All prints should have a job number, so we're going to say it's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the job number, or 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1 second, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, material type. I have a drop-down menu. These are the materials that we use, and I can show you how to change this for you, but uh, let's say we're using 360 brass. I use my fancy calculators to get what diameter, which that's it's not hard, but the links. Anyway, so diameter is... 0.750 by, I don't know, 18 feet. So I have a print in front of me. I wrote down the job number, the material type, the diameter, how uh, many feet I need. I need one bar, so quantity one. And I tell uh, somebody in the shop, hey, this material sheet's ready. Well, there's a computer by the saw room. They, they pull up this Google sheet that is accessible to them as well and they see live updates so if I hit a button they see it over there too they pull this sheet up they look for the material they say whether or not it's in stock if it's in stock they hit the in stock uh, checkbox if it's out of stock they hit the out of stock checkbox very simple and before I even tell them it's ready though I do tell them a saw length and quantity so the the main length is how many feet we need to complete the job the saw length is what you need to saw that bar to in order to make the part. So let's say we need to do, uh, I don't know, 3 inches, 16 of them. That might not equal up to 18 feet, but you get the point. So if it's in stock, they hit that. If it's out of stock, they hit that. And they go down the line. So they, they do that with everything. Now notice I didn't put anything in the width because it's a round part. A round part doesn't have width. If it was a square part, we would put something like inch and a half. And note, I have the smallest di or dimension first, then the second largest, then the very long, you know, the, the largest. So small, medium, large. That's how you go in when you're ordering material. So we have quantities, we have saw length, we have quantities for that saw length. And whenever we go through this, let's say we went through and did our entire material list. Somebody looked for them. They marked whether or not we have them in stock. Then we go to the very bottom, and it should be marked at no to start with. But you go to the very bottom, and you say, ready to order. Okay, it's ready to order. So then we tell whoever's up front that, hey, this sheet is ready to order. Please do so. So they go through, and they order all the yellow ones because the gray ones we have in stock. And then they check the box ordered. Then they tell you delivery estimate of 12, 12, 18. So that's when the material is going to get here. And when the material arrives, 12, 30, 18, they put the date. So at all times, you don't have to go bug people. You can just be look at the sheet and be like, all right, it'll be here that date. So you can keep an eye out for it and know whether or not you need forklift gas. So it's pretty smart. Let me go through and uncheck these. Now, you can highlight checkboxes, by the way, and space bar it, and it will check and uncheck them. So I'm just going to go through and delete these. Another thing I do uh, 
is this is the main template page. So you're not going to put your material list on this template page. What you're going to do is right click the tab at the very bottom and hit duplicate. And then I name that tab by double clicking it and naming it today's date. So today's date is 9-29-18. So I'm going to say 9-29-18. So whoever's up front knows if you tell them hey, the sheet's ready to order. They look at today's date. They know the newest tab is going to be what you're talking about. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need it. Now, on to the calculators because that is very helpful. For those of you who have ordered lathe parts, you understand that sometimes you need 200 thou per part on the length or sometimes you need an inch and a half to hold it in the chuck. I created a calculator to help you do so. Now, again, not super necessary to have this. You can use just a regular calculator, and you probably have for years if you've been doing this, but this is a faster solution and a more trustworthy solution. So you don't, like, if you're having a bad day, you know how sometimes you might order something wrong, and it might be 100 feet wrong. So that may or may not have happened. So this is why this calculator exists. So material diameter, 21 millimeters. And if you notice, the very left side is metric, the right side is inches. They do the exact same thing, they're just converted differently. All right. The blue is the output. So the input of what you type are the three white boxes here. And this box, this top left box, is adding 200,000 stock. It's a lot of information, so I'm, I'm going to try to slow it down. But this is 200,000 stock to the overall length. The bottom is inch and a half stock, stock for the overall length. So let's start with the top half, which is 200,000 stock. I got 21 millimeter diameter material. The metric length is 195 millimeters. The quantity is 16. So it's going to take 200,000 inch, in inches, 200,000, and it's going to add that. Convert so 195 millimeters converted plus 200,000 stock times the quantity is going to be a total of 10.5 feet. So all the calculations are already set. You can change those if you understand Google Sheets. If not, start playing around with Google Sheets. You can do a lot with them. And if you want to change the 200,000 stock to something else, click the let's see, yep, right here. Click the 10 point, this section right here, and where it says plus 200 thou, you can actually change that to 150 thou, 100 thou, something like that. And I think you have to do, no, nope, yeah, that's the only area you have to do that in. So that, this box right here, D3. So it adds 200 thou stock. Bottom of it does the same thing, except it adds inch and a half stock, so it'll be a lot longer. But sometimes you need that. 21 millimeter diameter. Now notice you only have to type it here because let's say we type 22, it automatically converts it on the bottom as well. So you just type the top three boxes. And let's say 198 and quantity of 85. So it looks complicated, but all you need is three numbers and it outputs everything for you. Pretty dope. So same exact thing on this side. So you just type in these three boxes for inches. We're going to go to square parts calculator. This one you have to type four different areas. So we're going to say nine millimeters on the thickness. Width is 40.5 millimeters. Metric overall length is 85 and quantity six. So that's telling me my thickness plus 250 thou. So you can profile the part is 604 thou. So I would round up, probably get three quarter material or five eighths, depending on the supplier. Uh, width in inches. So the width converted plus 200 thou is 1.794. Same for the overall length in total is going to be 1.773. Now, uh, let's see. Overall length inches total. Now this is... Okay, let me, let me rewind. Overall length in feet total. So it takes your metric 
adds 200 thou, so your metric overall length adds 200 thou, then multiplies it times the quantity. So I need 1.7 feet in order to complete the order, or 22 inches. So you can order two feet of material and you can get the entire job done. Now for the very bottom, I put thickness in inches without 250 thou added. That way if you order flat plate that is already the thickness, that is what you need. All right, and then here's another one that says thickness in inches without 200 thou added, thickness in inches without 250 thou added. So it gives you a, uh, oh, well, this one needs to say width. That's why it was confusing. So width. Oh, my gosh. It's not capitalized. But I think you get the point. So, again, not super necessary. But if you're doing a high production run, these calculators can really help you. All right, and one of the last calculators, and then at the very end, I'm going to show you how to add material to this list or change it. All right, so the very last calculator is super simple. It takes a hex to round. So if you have a half inch hex, so from flat to flat is half inch, you need 577 thou diameter stock in order to make a half inch hex. Same thing for square. If you have a 3 8 square, so from flat to flat, you need 530 thou diameter material to make a 3 8 hex, or square. Left calculator right here just converts metric to standard, but it's fast, so you don't have to like sit there and calculate this stuff. So it's all meant for people that order material. And again, you don't have to have all the metric, but I did also supply all the inches as well. Material list. So if you want to add material or take away material to your template. All you have to do is change, let's say we want to add MMHPL. That's not a material that I know of, but I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Let's say you make all these different changes. Well, we're ready to add that to our template. So you go to your template, you highlight material type. So you go through and highlight all of your boxes. Hopefully I get this right the first time. Go to data, data validation, and it says criteria. So right here, you'll pick this little select data range. Then I'm going to go to material list, highlight all of my material, including the new material, hit OK, save. Now if we go back to our template, you will notice at the very bottom, our material is now there. So you can customize your material list as well. That will pretty much conclude this Google Sheet, which if you don't already know, I'm really obsessed with Google Sheets because I share it with all the different people throughout the shop that need them. I even have a schedule and a tool crib management system on Google Sheets that I'm about to start making videos for. And if this video went a little too fast, let me know in the comments and I will try to remake it and slow it down. But I think I pretty much concluded everything and hopefully if you order material, this will really help you out. And I know it's helped me out. It's taken me a while to get this. But just remember, you can share this document with other people in the shop so they can order the material faster, they can look for the material faster, and it's just better communication and that's usually the weak point of a business is communication so if everybody's on the same page and uses the same Google Sheet and communicates well it's gonna go better for everyone so again click the description link below subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you can stay updated with all the different free stuff I'm giving away which is everything I'm doing I'm just I just love doing it so uh, again Subscribe, that'll really help me out, and go to my website, download as many charts and stuff as you want, and have a fantastic day.